Next question. To enhance the sensitivity, an ammeter is to be designed with two kinds of graduation on its scale. One graduation is 0 to 10 ampere and one is 0 to 1 ampere. Like shown in this diagram. 0 to 1 and 0 to 10 ampere. For that a galvanometer of resistance 50 ohm and full scale deflection current 1 milliampere was used. So this galvanometer has a resistance 50 ohm and full scale deflection current is 1 milliampere. Along with two resistances R1 and R2, either of the T1 or T2 is to be used as a negative terminal of the ammeter. So we can use one of these uh, terminals as the second or negative terminal of the ammeter. One terminal is this. When measuring a current of the order of 0.1 ampere, that means a smaller current, this shall be used as negative terminal T1 or T2. So, from the theory of a meter, in a meter, there is a resistance. Suppose this is the galvanometer coil, which has resistance equal to Rg. We connect a shunt resistance parallel to this galvanometer coil. Suppose this is Rs and this shunt resistance is a small resistance if this shunt resistance is small then maximum part of this current will pass through this so if you want to increase the range of this ammeter then maximum current should pass through this if maximum current is passing through this then the range will be increased so to increase the range of the ammeter we should have a smaller value of this shunt resistance. If range, if sensitivity or range is low, then RS will be more. So we can write from here, if RS is small, then a range is high. Range means the maximum value of current which can be measured by this ammeter configuration will be high. So in the first case, uh, in the first question, we are given that we have to just measure, <coughs> measure the current of the order of 0 0.1 ampere. So we do not need the small value of RS. We need the high value of RS. So such that the range is low. So for this kind of arrangement for 0 0.1 ampere, this kind of arrangement will do. I am just drawing the arrangement. We have two resistances R1 and R2. These are the two terminals. This terminal is fixed, it is positive terminal. I am denoting this by RG, which is 50 ohm. It is R1 and it is R2. For the question number A, we have to use one terminal this and we need high RS. So R1 and R2 should be in this series and one terminal we will use this. So we will use these two terminals for the part A such that the RS is equal to R1 plus R2 in this case. So the answer is terminal T2 we will use. Now in the second part uh, we are required to find the values of R1 and R2 also. To find the values of R1 and R2 we have to draw the diagram for two ranges as shown on this. So for this range, one range is up to 10 ampere and one range is up to 1 ampere. So for 10 ampere, for 10 ampere range, the range is higher, we need the lower, lower value of RS. So this terminal will be used. For this 1 ampere range, we need the high value of RS. So this terminal will be used. So first I am using for 1 ampere, I am drawing the diagram for 1 ampere range. For 1 ampere range, the diagram will be like, it is 50 and these two are unknown, R1 and R2. Connection will be made here and here. I current will go through the system and I current will come. In this, the maximum current which can be passed is IZ and this IZ is given as 
50 ohm and in this the current will be i minus ig we can write the equation potential difference on these two terminals are equal so potential difference on this two terminal from here we can write and from here we can write this i is equal to in this diagram this i is equal to 1 ampere and ig is equal to we are given it it is at 1 milli ampere so equation formed will be 50 ig this is equal to r1 plus r2 i minus ig so this is the equation for 1 ampere range now the second diagram for 10 ampere range for 10 ampere range the diagram will look like this it is 50 ohm connection will be made here so current i will go like this and current i will come out like this this is r1 and this is r2 in this the current should be equal to ig the maximum possible current for galvanometer and this ig will also go like this and go like this so this is also ig obviously this will be i minus ig in this segment again we can write potential difference on these two terminals so on these two terminals potential difference we can equate so one potential this 50 and r2 will be in series so now equation will be 50 plus r2 into ig there is no current in this terminal it is it is ig and it is also ig 50 plus r2 ig this is equal to i minus ig multiplied by r1 so in this case the i which we are using is i is equal to 10 ampere so in this equation i is equal to 1 ampere ig is equal to 0 0.001 ampere and in this equation i is equal to 10 ampere and ig is again 0 0.001 ampere 1 milli ampere we can solve these two equations for r1 and r2 and we can find the values of r1 and r2 the value will come out as after solving these two equations r1 is equal to 5 upon 999 ohm and the value of r2 will come out as 45 divided by 999 so these are the answers if you approximate if you approximate that i in i minus ig this ig is very small and if you neglect this while solving if you neglect ig here also if you neglect ig here and here then the answers which will be there will be the approximated answer if someone is applying the approximations then approximated answers will be this will be 5 upon 1000 and this will be 45 divided by 1000 if approximation is applied but in the question if we are given the options like this then these options will be correct